criminals, the scum who murder our children and steal everything we own. We should deport them all. Wow, you're being a bit harsh. They might just be in a tough situ- The fucking pigs! Whoa, pigs? That's out of line. No, I mean actual pigs. That's right, Europe has its fair share of history arresting, trialing, and executing animals. Let's start off with a curious tale. During the Napoleonic Wars, a French ship was blown off course and wrecked in Hartlepool. The French crew had this monkey that they put in a little French uniform to help morale and provide amusement, both false concepts in this depressing world. This monkey was the only survivor of the shipwreck, and when the baffled town found him, they chose to trial him. The locals had never seen a monkey or a Frenchman before, so decided it was a French spy. The monkey was found guilty of, well, I guess being a monkey, and was hung. In fact, the people of Hartlepool are called monkey hangers to this day. Later, in 1916, in Kingsport, Tennessee, an elephant named Mary, like, actually, I'm not making that up, was carrying a guy called Red Eldridge on her back. They were at the front of a parade, and she supposedly knelt down to go eat a bit of watermelon. Now, if you're squeamish, I recommend you skip this bit. Eldridge apparently stabbed the back of her ear with a hook to stop her. She then proceeded to grab him with her trunk, dash him across the floor at full force, stab him with her tusk, and crush his head with her foot. Jesus Christ. Now, this is only one alleged chain of events, but she supposedly calmed down. You know, just a casual murder. The people then immediately began chanting, Kill the elephant! And then some blacksmith called Hench ran out and shot her five times. Mary wasn't really affected too bad, but the local towns weren't going to allow a murderous elephant to go march through crowds of people, so they were like, the elephant's got to go. Okay, wow, that was easy. Then the circus conductor decided that executing the elephant in public would be the easiest- What the fuck?! The next day, on the 13th of September, Mary is put on a train and transported to Unicoi County. Around 2,500 people gathered for the execution, including all of the children in the town. Mary was hung. HUNG! An elephant! They tried to hoist Mary onto a derrick, but the chain snapped and Mary fell and broke her hip. This is getting darker and darker. The second attempt was a success, and Mary was finally buried. Now we're taking a trip back to... there, in Burgundy, France, January 1457. A pig and her litter were charged with mutilating an infant, and the pig was trialed and sentenced to death by hanging. The offspring were let go, they were apparently INFLUENCED by her. The Normandy pig was sentenced to being, and I quote, mangled and maimed in the head and forelegs. The pig was then also dressed in a jacket and breeches and was finally hung. What the fuck, France? Finally, we need to talk about the legend that is Bartholomew Chassini. This 16th century attorney gained his reputation defending insects in court. Now, if that doesn't guarantee you a career, I don't know what will. Basically, in Outon province, France, a ton of rats have been running around eating crops, and everyone was a bit fed up. The court finds you guilty of feniously eating up and what only destroying the barley crop. How do you plea? Squeak! <laughs> Your Honor, you can't condemn these plague-spreading, psychotic, fast-breeding shit beasts due to their collective presence being impossible. <laughs> Thus, they should be excused. Damn, that's a fine bit of rat lawyering. <laughs> now, in 16th century France, most courts were ecclesiastical courts, so I shit you not, they tried to excommunicate the rats. And then, well, I can't find the rest, so let's just assume he buggered off to go sip a martini in the swimming pool he bought with the money his insect clients paid him. Anyway, that's just a few weird and wacky stories from the fucked up room of forgotten dreams that is history. Bye.